Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Avengers Age of Ultron action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new 3 and 3 quarter inch Iron Legion. Neat figure, but before we look at that, let's take a look at the packaging. So it has a standard Age of Ultron packaging that we've seen for several months now. This is part of Wave 2. So we have the Avengers Age of Ultron logo. We have Hulk, Thor, Cap, and Iron Man on the side. The name of the figure, which is the Iron Legion. Hasbro logo, he just four and up warning and Avengers Initiative logos. On the back here, we have an image of the figure. You have a little bio on that. If the glare of light, you guys can read it. And this is pretty much it. Standard packaging, nothing special. Alright, so the figure in terms of articulation has five points of articulation as well. Swivel head. Swivel shoulders and swivel hips. Um, in terms of detail, I feel like this guy is lacking a lot. Uh, the white that they used, I don't really like it. It's sort of like a white and yellow mixed into it. Um, I think this is the type of plastic where it will yellow within time. Uh, which sucks. But the uh, faceplate is decent, I think. If we take a closer look at that. If my camera decides to focus. Take a closer look at that. He has some nice detailing in the face. He has the A for Avengers here, like in the film. Detail's pretty neat. But he's definitely missing a lot of paint job, I think. I need to look at the uh, trailers again and see what I could do to uh, make this figure look better. But certainly an army builder. The figure does include this accessory here. I don't even know what to call it, to be honest. So forgive me for that. And what you do is you attach it to its wrist. Bear with me for a sec. Like so. Uh, it's kind of strange. I don't recall seeing this in the film. But if he did use it, psh, remind me. I would have remembered, though. He stands about the exact same height as War Machine. So, not a lot going on with this figure. I like the War Machine better. But, um, share your thoughts by commenting down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. This is a figure, this is the type of figure that, um, it's worth picking up if you want to army build just to sort of, you know, be accurate to the film. I do want to army build them. I want three more just to have a total of four. And then the Ultron version 1 figure that's released in the Target exclusive 3 pack. I do want that. Um, but, uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on with this figure. It all depends on your preference, really, if you think you should pick it up or not. If, you know, a lot of people have passed on it. I like I said, I want to actually collect them. Just to have four of them. It's a new thing that uh, Tony Stark built. So, you know, Target's the place that you guys might want to start looking for them. That's where I found this figure, along with War Machine and Scarlet Witch, which I will be reviewing next. As well as Ultron. This is all part of Wave 2. So, uh, comment down below and share your thoughts, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Until next time, bye.